soars on the wind. It rises from the grave. It stalks the ocean floor. You cannot hide from fate. But you can make your own. Welcome to the Wonderlands, your one-stop shop for bullets, broadswords, and blasting the butts off a wave bulbous bodies. There's loads of loot to be had, so go on and get your adventuring boots on and pick yourself a bonny wee class. If it's magic you fancy, the spell shot's for you. She pairs the mystic art of wizardry with the regular art of bullets. Armed with two fistfuls of spells, you'll rain down fire, ice, and all the grey hills. Or you can just turn them into escape. But if it's a hammering you're after, a hammering you shall get. Clawbringers come from a proud and ancient order of warriors. But more importantly, they've got a cute wee dragon who follows them everywhere. With one mighty blow, they can clear out a room quick as you like. Or hurl their hammer like a vengeful god. This part is when they pull it, it comes flying back. Zip! Woo! <laughs> All that part! But that's just a peek at the many delights that await you. Come and get it! Welcome to the Wonderlands! Welcome to the Wonderlands! A glorious fantasy realm chock full of shooting, looting, and mystical, magical, smelly stuff. When you traverse these splendorous lands, it'll be up to you, dear traveler, to class up and save the day. Perhaps you fancy your hand at stabilizing. It's less magic and more a way of thinking. Specifically, how do I stab that guy? Mayhaps by tossing out an ethereal psychic ghost sword? Stabomancers are all about creating and capitalizing on opportunities vis-a-vis -vis stabbing. Or should you prefer a less subtle approach, the Berserker is for you! See something? Smash it! See something else? Smash that! Unleash your frosty fury on foe after foe! Honestly, it's therapeutic. That's just a taste of what we've got in store for you. There are plenty more ways to play. Whatever your poison, we've got you covered. Welcome to the Wonderland! our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we gonna die. Roll for initiative, suckers! Woo! Failed to see you! Wow! The queen is missing. She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world. 
I, Roland, dub you a knight of justice and cupcakes and stuff. In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude because reasons! So, you made it at last. Well, you're a bit too late to save your precious little queen, but hey, at least you get to die in unimaginable freaking pain! Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of Bunkers and Fantasies! <sighs> the power of fantasy. Ah, uh, quick question. We're not talking about yet, right? That is correct. <sighs> it's my favorite. Hi, I'm Kalo Belmore, and I'm senior producer on Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So what's really unique about Wonderlands is it's a uh, looter shooter, which is you know pretty classic for Gearbox software, but for the first time ever, we're setting it in a brand new fantasy environment. Even though it's inspired by some of uh, the content we've made before with Assault on Dragon's Keep, a fan favorite. Roll for initiative, suckers! It's a completely standalone plot, new set of characters with some nods to the past, but if you've never played a Borderlands game before, you can absolutely jump right in and enjoy it just as much. So we're absolutely excited to talk about all of our new enemy types. Uh, so that is one of our Wyvern enemies. You will absolutely be fighting them. They're not your average Wyvern. So of course we've got goblins. Definitely can't have a fantasy game without goblins, but again, we like to make them our own. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope that you are as stoked as we are about Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Follow us on our social channels to find out the latest and greatest news. Enjoy the rest of the show. Darkness washes over the land. Dun, dun, dun. The Dragon Lord has returned! Ha 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 ha, fools! Your party of heroes can't stop me! Who's ready to rickety role play? Spoiler? It's you, baby. asking, Tina, why are there guns in a fantasy world? And I am just so glad you asked because SHUT UP YOUR FACE AND GET SHOOTING! Ah! Ready, newbie? Time for character sheets, baby! All right, trailer over. No end credit scene here. This ain't no super duper hero movie. Well, let's begin with a brand new game announcement. You're about to see the world premiere of the next great adventure from Gearbox and 2K. Fate. It soars on the wind. It rises.
rises from the grave. It stocks the ocean floor. You cannot hide from fate. But you can make your own. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is official, and joining us now is Tiny Tina herself, Ashley Birch. Hey, Ash, how you What's doing? What's up, baby? How you doing? Great to have <laughs> you here. Uh, so I think the big question everyone's going to have is, what is Wonderlands? What can you tell us about it? It's a great question. Yes. It's, uh, it's a high fantasy take on a looter shooter, as you saw. And um, if you're a fan of Borderlands, you'll probably recognize some fantasy elements inspired by Assault on Dragon Keep, which was the Borderlands 2 DLC that was beloved by the devs. And so this kind of inspired Wonderlands. Uh, now, I think the, the elephant in the room is, is this a Borderlands game? Is it not? How does it relate? So it actually isn't. It's its own standalone game. Um, and people that love Borderlands are going to find lots of elements to love about Wonderlands, but it's its own thing. Yeah. Tiny Tina's got her own thing going on now. Yeah. Um, so it's got its own mechanics. There's spell casting. You can customize your character this time, which is super exciting. And um, yeah, so if you love Borderlands, you're gonna find stuff to love in this. And if you've never played a Borderlands game, this is a great place to start. Okay, well, Tiny Tina gets her own game, which is fantastic. Yes. What is her, her role? Why does she get her own game? So she is your bunker master. Yeah. Um, she is kind of guiding the narrative and changing it on a dime if she wants. Um, and she's just taking your cast of characters, uh, which is an amazing cast, yeah. um, through this wacky world. Uh, and she's taking you on an adventure to defeat the Dragon Lord. And who is that? I don't know. You'll have to play. I, and I wonder who plays the Dragon Lord, because you've got quite the voice cast, <laughs> including do. you in this, which oh. is awesome. So yeah. feels Thank like you. such a, a big experience. Um, so this was a bit of a tease, announcing it's out there. Um, when will we find out more about this game? Um, hopefully this summer, yes. um, and you can find out a lot more at playwonderlands.com if you'd like. Okay. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned for updates. All right, coming early 2022, so yes. look forward to next year. Ash, thank you so much for joining us in person. Thanks for I having really me. I really appreciate it, and uh, <laughs> we'll see more later this summer on that game. Please welcome two of the stars of the upcoming Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, Ashley Birch and Will Arnett. Oh, what's up, baby girls? Thank you for having us. We are so excited to reveal a bit about the story in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Yeah. And are, are we talking about the Dragon Lord yet? Yes. Will plays the Dragon Lord, the central villain within the Wonderlands. Yes, but in a clever twist, I turn out to be the underdog hero of the entire realm, and it's really beautiful. And it's actually one of the main reasons that I took this role, so. Mm, no. What do, you, what do you mean, no? You play a necromantic overlord, and not the good kind. Well, he's a job creator for millions of unemployed individuals. He raises the dead, man. Yeah, and he gives them stuff to do, okay? <laughs> some of them get to sail, some form a rock band. A lot of them, like, I don't know, stab things or something. Do you really not know the story? Of the game that you're no, in? Sure. No, yo, you mean the, the whimsical adventure from the mind of a 13-year-old demolitions uh, expert? Yeah. Who whimsically tries to blow up the heroes for 40 levels? Yeah. So if anyone is the central villain here, it's Tiny Tina. All right. Roll the damn trailer. There is a world beyond the borderlands. A 
world forged by wonder and ruled by fate. There's one alone who can wield fate. One alone whose story is in their own hands. The Fade Maker. That's you. Heavy, right? You seek passage. I can aid you. I am Valentine, gallant adventurer. The scary stabby one is Fret. The undead fall beneath our blades. Ah! I'm sensing some real evil vibes this way. Now follow me. A beautiful body indeed. And full of power. I'm invincible! Looking bad. How do we win this? We attack together for the queen! You'll never get the sword of souls, cutie idiot! Do you want a fight? I'll give you a fight! That's a big boy! That's a big, big boy! Sisters, I believe we have found our champion. Oh, listen to me, lip flapping while you could be off adventuring. Tina, you left a cheese curl on the board. Mayhaps it is a, uh, a, a powerful ancient meteor, and it begins to rise from the ground. This isn't a blessing. It's a blasting! Hold on, what game are we playing here? We're playing Bunkers and Badasses, baby! There is a world beyond the borderlands. A world forged by wonder and ruled by fate. There's one alone who can wield fate. One alone whose story is in their own hands. The Fate Maker. That's you. Heavy, right? You seek passage. I can aid you. I am Valentine, gallant adventurer. The scary stabby one is Fret. The undead fall beneath our blades! Ah! I'm sensing some real evil vibes this way. Now follow me! A beautiful body indeed. And full of power! I'm invincible! Looking bad! How do we win this? We attack together for the queen! You'll never get the sword of souls, cutie idiot! Do you want a fight? I'll give you a fight! That's a big boy! That's a big, big boy! Sisters, I believe we have found our champion. Oh, listen to me, lip flapping while you could be off adventuring. Tina, you left a cheese curl on the board. Mayhaps it is a, uh, a, a powerful ancient meteor, and it begins to rise from the ground. This isn't a blessing. It's a blasting! Hold on, what game are we playing here? We're playing Bunkers and Badasses, baby! Calcium out here. So earlier today, you heard from Ashley Birch, aka the God. 
about Tiny Tina Wonderland. Well, right now, we're going to sit down with Matt Cox, who is the creative director of aforementioned game, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, to answer some questions. But in case you weren't here earlier and you missed out on it, there's a trailer. So check it out. Fate. It soars on the wind. It rises from the grave. It stalks the ocean floor. You cannot hide from fate. But you can make your own. That, that's a lineup. That's the kind of lineup you want to see when you're playing a game for probably 20, 40 hours. Thank you, Matt. That's we appreciate it. Uh, absolutely. Thanks uh, so much for having me. Our team is absolutely thrilled to finally be able to say Tiny Tina's Wonderlands out loud. I, You know, I imagine that's kind of hard because you know about it for so long. And your friends are asking you, are you working on a new game? I don't know. Maybe. What's it called? I don't know. It doesn't exist, so I can't talk about it, right? And now you can say the name. Oh yeah, no, our, our entire team is uh, over the moon and we're very excited uh, for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and to get it out there. You know, it's, it's, it's funny because throughout the entire universe, I know why I would choose Tiny Tina if I was making a game because, you know, obviously Ashley Birch is phenomenal. But I remember a, a line that Tiny Tina had previously where she says, uh, a gut full of dynamite and a booty like pow. So that's why I would choose her. <laughs> but why, why did y'all go with Tiny Tina? What's the decision-making process? So we are fans of Tiny Tina here, and we know there's a lot of fans uh, of Tiny Tina. And for those who played Assault on Dragon Keep, like we know people loved uh, Assault on Dragon Keep. And so we thought, like, absolutely, there's a lot of inspiration there. And we wanted to turn that inspiration into a full standalone game. So for those that loved Assault on Dragon Keep, it's definitely inspired by that. But uh, what's really exciting is that Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is a full standalone game with its own unique story, uh, own unique gameplay, like spell casting, character customization, uh, multi-classing, and more. So I'm happy you brought that up because do you feel like players, I, I don't know, I guess the word could be need, want to, should. Do they need to have, want, should have played uh, Assault on Dragon <laughs> Keep to enjoy this experience or nah? Nope. Nope, not at all. That's uh, that's the, one of the great things about it being a standalone game. So even if I say the words Assault on Dragon Keep and you have no idea what that means and you right. haven't heard the name Tiny Tina before today, uh, you're going to uh, love what we've got cooked up here. Good looking now. And I got to say, your all-star voice cast, when you were going down the list in that video, Andy Sandberg, first off, genius, smart. Wanda Sykes, just hearing her voice alone makes me laugh. I don't even care what she's doing. Just hearing her voice makes me laugh. And then Will Arnett, Mr. Bojack Horseman himself, that's got to be a wild presentation. Yeah, it's been incredible to be able to work with such a, a talented uh, VO cast that really elevates all of these characters uh, that you're going to experience in the game. And of course, Ashley does an amazing job as Tina. And even in this trailer here, uh, the wonderful Gabe Kunda, uh, who uh, uh, voices the character we see in the trailer. But uh, no, it's it's a it's been an honor to work with this cast, and uh, everybody's in for a, a really great surprise. Skittle Nest just asked in, in the chat community, 
will we get more of Butt Stallion? And I think you know the answer to that, right? Well, I love that we see that magical diamond binocorn just jump in and save the day in this trailer. <laughs> but uh, uh, I can't really reveal too much about uh, how Smart. Butt Stallion plays into the game. But uh, I am very excited for people to explore and experience uh, how Butt Stallion fits into our, our story. For sure. And in case you all are curious about what things look like, we actually have two exclusive images. And I say exclusive. Yes. For us. We're going to show them off. So, Matt, maybe you can walk us through what we're going to see. We're going to show off the first one right now, if we could. Yeah. So one of the things that we absolutely wanted to accomplish uh, and uh, is to just envelop people in a fantasy atmosphere. So uh, a lot of the things that happen in our game come from the chaotic mind of Tiny Tina. So we span classic fantasy looks and some just crazy and mysterious uh, fantasy looks as well. But this environment, you see uh, this gorgeous castle, uh, the gorgeous lighting and the bridges and yes. really get to be immediately immersed in what seems like cl classic fantasy. And so we really wanted people to understand that and of course well here's a screenshot of uh the man himself the tyrant the dragon lord so all of these cool new things that we're going to be able to do in tiny tina's wonderlands it's all for chasing down the dragon lord and defeating him i like how so, the dragon yeah, I lord decided show. they're going to be mage dps and melee dps they didn't just pick one they said <laughs> now nah, we're going to do both <laughs> we're do both at once <laughs> yeah i respect that there's there. There's so much uh, in store for people to play uh, in this game, and of course, it's a you know it's a high fantasy looter shooter with uh, original and uh, unpredictable fantasy worlds. And of course, being uh, in the chaotic mind of Tiny Tina, who's more concerned with things like fun than rules or logic, uh, yeah. we're gonna meet some crazy characters and fight some crazy creatures. You know. I like her personality because she has a history of taking the story in a direction that she wants to take it in the past of we're going to do this. Psych, just kidding. I meant to say this instead. And so I personally expect a lot of that. But I have to wonder with Tiny Tina, is there something in place that you felt like you couldn't do in previous games that this game allows you to do? Well, one of the wonderful things about, uh, you know, Tiny Tina being our bunker master as she's narrating our game world is she'll be able to adjust the world on the fly with her instinct. So it keeps yeah. uh, an element of unpredictability as we're playing the game. And uh, it really allows us to design some really wild and crazy things uh, for, for the chaotic mind of Tiny Tina. So it's it, it's a blast to design for. I, I can imagine it was a fun time on set, not only dealing with Tiny Tina and everything that she does in the past as far as chaos and explosion, but also the all-star voice cast you had. So I want to thank you so much, Matt, for joining us. It's been a pleasure. It's, it's quick hits all around, but we got everything I think yeah. we need to answer, except for one important thing is where can we learn out more about Tiny Tina's Wonderland? Uh, yeah, everybody, please go to playwonderlands.com and uh, follow Play Wonderlands on our social, and uh, we're very excited for you to play Tiny Tina's Wonderlands in early 2022. I appreciate that, Matt, and I love that the end of it is Wonderlands, which is plural, not singular. I'll keep this to myself. I'm excited for that. <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure, dude. All right. Thanks for having me. Thank you.